Welcome back. At our tour, he yeah, does love to farm. Although, to be fair, in a, in a couple of those games we've seen him, he da he has taken a more active position. So I think that's something Five Rat might want to punish. You know, that when you plant it in your base, you know, you respawn, you grab a couple of mangoes, pass them on. It's a lot of economy that you gain from that. Still speed, still yeah, rough here. Big trouble. It's very hard to lane against the Ursa as the Beastmaster. And and kids, he kind of has to be the saving grace on this tiny because again, the side lanes are not doing well. Top lane speed is going to drop once again. It's a great lane matchup up against Anaga. You've got good Stop wave clear, you can just make it tough. Artezi's having a very, very good time top lane. And just these interview speed, although we do appreciate it. How can you not? Oh, hold on a minute. Mid lane, Arrow's going to land from crit. Kits really surely has nowhere to go, but a nice toss away. Problem is, Fly's going to cut him off. Crit looking for the kill. Arbed still following him up. Has the Walrus Punch and he'll hand the Walrus Punch over. <laughs> the key factor to enable Five Rat to hit that mid game pace. And this Tiny is just off to a much slower start than oh. you'd really want to play with. Bottom lane, Crit. He is going to drop. Albino Zebra able to secure the first kill for Five Rat. It was 1.04 to the 9.29. And well, mid lane, we might just see why because Kits has been caught out once again here on the Tiny. A lot of rotations to come in. Saberlight. Using the Fiend's Gate, he'll go right back towards that bottom lane. Just a quick trip. In fact, they want DNM. Ooh. Everyone's coming in. DNM. He'll try to mirror image, but the shards are there. Arbed will block the way. Tips out from Saberlight. <laughs> Arbed might be able to set it up with a snowball into shards, and here we go. They'll make the jump in. Kids will try to buy himself a little bit of time, but the toss is on a creep. Walrus Punch. There it is, Arbed. He's kind of playing with his food there for a moment. The DD and Abed getting a good shove in, and there's not many options to kind of defense. Saberlight gets a solo push down bot uncontested, and everything's just lining up for Shopify. Mid lane, here comes the Fiends, get again Saberlight coming in from the rear, and that is going to be a very painful experience for the side of 5 Rat 4 stuff, and there he goes again. In fact, never mind, he'll stick around for a little bit longer. Swinging around, no vision to kind of catch him out here. Yeah, here comes Arteezy, Stominan. He's getting ripped apart by the Ursa. Crit will take the kill. Snowball forward. Speed also caught. That's going to be another. Crit will take both of them, in fact. In fact, here they come. Five Rat. They're going to try and force a fight. It's a 2v4. I don't think they can. Uh. Toss up. Frostbite is there. Hold them down. And Five Rat, well, wishful thinking, I would argue there. I mean, they're trying, but they'll just keep diving. By, uh, Shopify, they just... Ooh. I mean, they're smurfing, John. They're, this, they're, smurfing is looked down upon in Dota 2. You can't just do that. TNM still running. Crystal Nova will connect. Frost White, Frostbite will be out. Arrow will connect as well. And this is just uh, two supports. Uh, it's not... Uh, shrinking that map. Keep applying that pressure. Ah, bad. Oh, no. Ah, bad. Uh, TP away. No, they've got the snowball. Arrow's not going to connect. It's probably not going to matter, though. DNM's trying to run, but Crit will have his way with him. And Arbit's doing Arbit things at the moment. Oh, I, I just don't see any simple fix. Arrow, mid lane. Kits will get caught out. Arbit just around the corner. Saberlight even shows up. Very nice pit of Malice catching both of them. Right on the edge for our Bino Zebra. There you go. Another couple kills there for the side of Shopify Rebellion. Uh, he's queuing up Divine. I know that was a Radiant a while ago. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty Saberlight. sure that was a Radiant a while ago, but you know what? I was just praising you, Saberlight. <laughs> Arrow's gonna land. Bye-bye, Stominant. In fact, never mind. Still running. Saberlight on the chase. There's your Crimson Guard from Saberlight. But Macropie is still gonna do the damage. Saberlight. I have jinxed Saberlight very oh, effectively. The up. He dies. 3 2 2. We've got it. We've achieved it. That's it. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, very glad that he didn't have the farm for the full divine, I'm sure, at that point. <laughs> uh, if you will proceed with us. Mid lane, DNF. Snowball will be there from Arbed. No escape for him. I feel like Saberlight's trying to add a challenge to the mix here. I feel like at some <laughs> point he's just going to give it away. Speed. <laughs> Being chased down. Ice Path will lock them all down. Not really going to matter though, Arteezy's not going to give up on the chase. In chat will slow him down however, but Speed's still just getting chipped at. Arrow's going to land in the shards. Fly, somehow still alive from those impetus shots. He'll be okay to survive though. Nope, no toss. Fly's still alive. It's not pleasant, wet bread. Well, you haven't done him many favors in kind of, you know, me pointing out his YouTube channel there, John, but...
<laughs> Bottom lane, Kits, he's not having too many favors either this game. Kick is up for Arbit. So that's going to mean the Tiny is just going to get kicked to the curb. Bye-bye, Kits. Here comes Saberlight with the Fiend's Gate. Albino Zebra's not looking very safe, but you know they want speed. You know they want the Beastmaster. In goes Arbit. Kick him right back to the side of Shopify Rebellion. More shards out. Albino Zebra not looking very good at the moment. At least he has a sense of humor. He puts the hand up. <laughs> you know who would have done it faster? Sumel. I mean, Fee will just talk about it in a moment. Under the Mirana they go. Crit. He actually gives a lot of gold away. Arbed with a nice kickback onto Kits. And that's going to be the tiny to go down. Crit even buying back. Meanwhile, though, Arteezy. Oh. Arteezy's been caught out, but he's got the enrage up. Speed, a decent roar, a song committed. DNM, are you going to go for this fight? Speed. He'll try and TP and we'll make it out, but DNM's been left alone. Where's the coordination, boys? Hmm. I mean, they just songed and stood there to allow Speed to TP away. Bottom lane, DNM, do not stay there, so oh Saberlight boy. right by him, just sniffs him out in the tree line. DNM, I, I don't think there's any way out of this. Like, he could try, just try and run through the tree line, but he's got no song up. It's only level one, cooldown's oh, too oh, high. Oh, God, bashed Gets as well. bashed immediately, just... you know. Oh, uh, that's just rough. Oh, why? Fly? Mid lane? Uh, Crystal no. made it? No? He'll four staff away. Kick him right back to fly. <laughs> You're not trapped with me. I'm trapped with you, he says. And there we go. Shopify, another kill for themselves. Fourth at the 31. Oh. Speed, he's going to try and get something done. He does find crit. That's one for himself. But Arbet's going to have his way with him now. Speed is still chasing down fly on the Crystal Maiden. It's not going to matter, though. Four down for, for five rat. Yeah, it's it's tough. I mean, look, you find a kill. Hey, hold on a minute. <laughs> I've seen this before. <laughs> uh, nice buy back, Stomin. Yeah, there GG. You go. Yeah. All right, all right. Enough fun in games. I mean, look, we fun saw for who, John? <laughs> fun for who? Fun for someone. I'm sure. I'm sure Shopify had a little bit of fun there, right? This draft is interesting. I think, you know, we heard Fear again said it's 50% better than their last game, but that doesn't mean it's a 50% chance to win. I, I'd agree with Mr. Fear here. It gives you a lot of space to dance around him. So I think that's just going to make it a little bit tougher for speed uh -oh. to find that angle. DNM going to drop first spot to go the way of crit on the Rubik. Always try for those openings. It's the most vulnerable part of that lane, and they're going again. Very nice. Very nice play here from speed and stamina. It's such a strong lane. In fact, now Fly really copying it. We'll be forced to mango and use those cogs. But a very nice play there onto the Drow Ranger. At least in this bot lane, Speed having a much stronger game to start with. And just the aggression that you can get out with Stominance Sky, which he had a lot of success Kits. in his good news. Mid lane, stick charges. Arbet, he's going right in for the dive. He could not give a crap. He might die, but he's more than happy with that trade. Trying to kind of help mid at least grab the region away. Might be dead here, John. Rocket Flare to give the vision. Battery sold up. If he wants to, onslaught. No, he's going to find a very nice angle. Never mind. Mid lane, hits. Maybe not so much. It looks like he is gone. Crit with a nice rotation. Arbed is not going to be punished. For Shopify Rebellion, the game does feel like it's going to drag on a little bit slower. And that is something Five Rat can use against it. Oh, bon lane. Another great initiation. Stominant. Very sneaky in that tree line. Catching Arteezy with his pants down. Fly? Moving in, but I'm not sure what the idea is here from Fly. His teammate's already dead. Fly will die with him. Speed will take him out. Top lane. DNM not looking too safe right now. Sableye on the chase with the wolf form. Let's see what he does here. Blocks off DNM. Forces the other way around. Dives the tier 2 tower probably. And with the lift back, DNM's got no chance. And they've, they can just rotate onto mid. Look at all the skeletons on hand for oh. that added damage. Oh, those skellies. You love to see it. Kits in big trouble. Going to try and rolling thunder, but Crit has got the lift up. Arbed won't even bother trying for the lasso, just trusting his teammate. Batrider, a pretty big kill here for them if they can get it. Sans is out. They've got the onslaught. They've got the Mystic Flare, and they should have Arbed, but the lasso is going to be thrown. Arbed, can he dance around? I don't know if he surely can, but it looks like he's getting away. Arbed, a man on the run. Surely he dies. He has to die. Oh, oh what? No, 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 no. no. I've had enough. The roll as well? Enough. Oh, he's still running. Oh, man. Come on. 
You've got to die, what? Arbet. Oh, Arbet. <laughs> oh, my God. He's a character. Speed. Pulverizes out. Light Striker Ray. Wolf Ball will still be there in time. Crit. He's got the Pulverize. Oh. He's got the Pulverize. DM's got. Oh, it's so fun to watch, isn't it? Crit. Still getting chased down here by Kits. Not gonna what? drop very far in time. And Kits, Kits is gonna get lassoed. Arbed will catch him. Saberlight with the kill. Albino goes for the overgrowth. Can they punish? I don't know if they really can. Stormin's in trouble. Speed's gonna try with the trample onslaught combination. Saberlight is still fighting. Pulverize is there, but Saberlight. Look at this Giga Chat! What? He will not back oh. and now Crit! Crit will return the favor! That's how you do it! If we give any more, if we give any more free advertising away to Game Leap, <laughs> Top Lane Crit, gonna get jumped, he's still alive for now, in comes Saberlight, but the Overgrowth's gonna hold him down, oh, and with the Rolling out. Thunder, Saberlight, gonna just move right back in, Albino, trying to survive, but there's a Golem chasing him, and it will take him out. It's still a decent enough trade, I suppose, finding Crit, there's mid lane speed now, trying to survive just with the Crimson Guard, already committed the Onslaught, cannot run away, and will just drop. Uh, but to take the kill. You have the Pangolier, you've got the Skyrat. They just kind of counteract each other sometimes. Bye bye, DNM. Nice knowing you, sir. Our bit will take care of it. Some nice vision. We'll reveal them as well. Kids not feeling very. S Kids? Uh huh. Sometimes you've got to know when to not farm. Kids tried to jump away, but the Wild Ring Ripper even against them here, pushing him back towards Shopify. They still find a Mystic Flare, though, so Fly is going to drop and Kid somehow survives. Albino Zebra. He gets spotted right into the sentry ward. I'm not sure what he's trying to do here, but oh, no. it's probably not going to work. And now the stolen overgrowth from Crit. He will die, but what can they do to capitalize here for their dead Rubik? Kits is going to be... No, <laughs> he's not. No, he's not. No TP for you, sir. Stolman is not safe either. Saberlight, just going to chase him down. Stolman, can you make some magic happen, sir? Well, I suppose that is a magic trick. He does disappear. Meanwhile, Arbit will get pulverized, but Fly is there to hook. Speed, surely no way out of this. DNM not willing to help out Speed, instead chasing Saberlight, trying to find Arbit maybe. Onslaught in. They've got Saberlight trapped up, but DNM's taking way too much damage, and now the gust from Arteezy holding down a couple. Onto Speed they go. Arbit somehow still alive. Twinkle Toes himself, still running, still trying to survive. Oh. Blinks away. Arbit's taunting them. High fives up! The experience, coordination, and individual skill coming out from Here we go. Lasso out on speed, mid lane, speed. He's got an onslaught to try and get out, but the flame break's gonna stop it. Speed, he'll pulverize, but Crit's got it again. It's like you don't even want to use the spell anymore, because you know Crit's just waiting for it. Arbed, <laughs> he literally takes no damage. Literally Lagoon to the back, took zero damage. DNF. Chased by creeps at the moment. Albino Zebra forced to overgrowth to make sure DNM does not die. And everyone's just out of there. That's the, the issue there. So nobody's in the base. Arbed gonna spot it out, just blinks right away. Kits, can you guess where he is? Not right now. Rolling Thunder taken by Crit as well, so this is not the team fight at the moment that Pyrat wanna take. And Arteezy, he doesn't even need it. He doesn't need the backup, he'll just take them out. Godlike for Saberlight. Now the lasso. Arbet finds another. It's going to be DNM. And there's your rolling rolling cube. Rolling cube <laughs> coming up from Crit. Connecting perfectly. Onslaught through. Speed is dead. Mid racks to fall. Wouldn't be surprised if Shopfire Rebellion decided to go forward to your fours. And see how cheeky they're feeling here now. Just going to swing up top instead. He's underneath vision, mind you. They see him through the sentry. Arteezy's gonna get caught. Can they protect him? This is the kill they wanted. Crit's gonna force him back with the lift up. In fact, Arteezy, he is gonna die eventually. That's a huge start for Fire Rat. Can they deal with the rest though? Here comes Saber Chat from the backside. Albino Zero being focused, but DNM, he's got a double kill. Can they back off successfully? They're trying their absolute best for Saberlight. He is not retreating. There's your pulverize out. In comes Crit. What an onslaught. And oh. now the pulverize. Who is the Primal Beast this game? I think it might be Crit. He's the real beast. They call him. They've had enough. The torture ends. Oh, uh, well, you know, Five Rat put up a much stronger fight here in game two, to be fair to them, right? They have a better time in their lanes. They managed to really bully out Arteezy in the bot lane, the Drow lane, just 
maybe not the easiest thing in the world to pull off and